because the, as we know that the 3, 3N2 non small cell lung cancer is a highly heterogeneity disease with the different setters of N2 and unsatisfied outcome. And the Robinson classified the 3AN2 into 3A1 to 3A4. And this needs the multi mortality therapy for the N2 patients, including the uh, concurrent chemo radiation and surgery, followed by the adjuvant chemo and new adjuvant therapy, and then surgery. And King trial is encountered in this field. Because the EGFR TKI has been used in the advanced non small cell lung cancer and move forward to the uh, maybe adjuvant therapy. Therefore, we uh, carry out the CETON 11 over 003 emerging trial at the 2011 to, to enroll the patient with N2 uh, disease, also with the EGFR mutation, to randomize into the two group. One is the alternate EGFR TK, the other, the, the, the other group is the gemcitabine cisplatin. And the primary endpoint of this study is the objective response rate, and the second endpoint including progression-free survival and the surgical outcome including complete resection and lymph node downstaging and the, the PCR, the pathologic complete uh, remission and the major pathologic regression. And so on. Okay. And then, when it comes to the results, has any of the endpoints been met so far? The endpoint is the in number is in the alternate have improved the ob objective response rate, but the p value is zero point zero nine two, a boundary significant. Uh, yeah. Uh, but the progression free survival of the new adjuvant alternate have improved from the gem side picking group is uh, twelve months to the. Uh, our think goal is 21 months. Is there any concern for toxicity between the arms? Uh, the toxicity is mild in the uh, new adjuvant and adjuvant uh, uh, alternate therapy. And the uh, post operative complication is also very mild, and no mod mod modality cases were found and in the two groups, and consistent with the other studies. And is there any effect of any other therapies before or after? All the patient is treatment naive. The patient, and if the pa after the patient relapse, the patient will uh, cross over maybe some part of uh, alternative to receive the chemo or the chemo group transfer to the alternative. Um, so, can let's double check. How many patients were involved in the trial? Uh, uh, totally, there are. Uh, 386 patients were screened and finally uh, 72 patients were randomized and one patient withdrew the consent. The uh, 72 in the ITT population and 71 in the safety analysis population. So, with these lessons, the PFS going from 12 months to 21 months, these are, they sound significant. Uh, it, the the progression-free survival is significant. And also, we will uh, go on with the follow-up. Maybe there will be some update about the progression-free survival and the OOS data. Okay. What is the timeline for follow-up? Two years? Five years? Timeline follow-up uh, every three months. After the surgery, every three, one, three months, we will perform the checks and abnormal CT scan. And every half year, uh, the brain enhanced MRI. And uh, every one year, have the bone scan. Okay. That covers, I think, some of the outcomes. What would you say is the take-home message? What is the main lesson from these results? Uh, I think, first of all, the, in stage 3A, uh, N2 pre-operating pre -oper staging stage 3A N2 patients with the EGFR mutation. I think the alternate is a, 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 alternate is a choice uh, to improve the objective re response rate and uh, uh, complete resection and downstaging rate and uh, prolong the progression-free survival. But only it is uh, just a say, say two study. I think just uh, we, we will put forward uh, the concept and we will uh, concern with the phase three study, I think. Okay. Well, we look forward to more results from the phase three study when they are available. But, but, uh, the study in the new adjuvant setting of stage 3 and 2 is very hard to enroll.
actually I think maybe the later maybe transfer to the uh, anti PDL one in immunotherapy is also another uh, idea. Okay. So uh, a very active space for research. Okay, but uh, from this study we can some the new adjuvant uh, EGFR TK and new adjuvant anti PDL one in the mechanism is some 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 like difference. In the tissue sample, in surgical tissue sample, we we collect, we found that after the new adjuvant alternative therapy, the size the tumor cells has decreased and some infiltrating lymphocytes is gathered and enriched in the uh, around the tumor. I think. Yes, we've heard lots of research suggesting tumor infiltrating lymphocytes as the next biomarker to be aware uh, of. The, the biomarker analysis including blood sample and tissue sample will be we have the further research in the later.